Hi chums. Okay, we've just had a huge thunderstorm there and I've been waiting for about nearly 45 minutes to start this video. When I put the video up about perlite versus vermiculite, um, a lady called Shireen asked what would happen if you mixed perlite and vermiculite together because she has both. So let's, let's find out. So what I've done here is the trays I use have 18 spaces, so I've done three here. This tray here has a 50-50 mix, half vermiculite, half perlite, so we'll mix those together. This tray here has got one third of each, one third um, vermiculite or perlite, one third vermiculite, and one third potting compost with added John Innes. That's the, the, the seed compost mix, which is very good. I like that stuff. I'm just going to do a wee check and make sure I'm getting this on screen because I'm on a tripod here. Yeah, we're okay. And then this one here, we're going to go on 50% John Innes and 25% um, vermiculite, 25% perlite, and 50% half, it's six tubs, so 50% is half of those, and then one and a half each of these. Okay, so we'll start mixing these up. I'm going to put, oh, there was the experiment nearly out the window. I'm going to put a glove on here. I don't like this here, but it looks all delicate and sensitive, but the problem here is that uh, I don't want to get dirt on the camera. Right, we'll go on this one here first. So we've got the 50% of each. I'll try and make this piece as quickly as I can. They're talking today about an inch of rain. Well, there's been an inch of rain in the last 40, 45 minutes because it was just absolutely horrendous. Right, so. There we go. And then the beans. Yes, I had my beans carefully laid out. Yeah, here we are. This, the bean we're using here is a dwarf bean called Amethyst. It's the same one that I have in the corner there. After this video, I'm going to do another one um, on those beans because there have been some interesting developments. So you can see this is a, a highly technical process here. first six in. I've got a tray over here that I'm going to use for these. And then I'll start the next one. Now just to be, just to keep this right and just get rid of this stuff here. And start again. Check them in position. Yeah, that's near enough. Okay, we'll go on the, uh, where's the other one down there? This is the one 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 third of each. So I had I had a visitor this morning. Uh, a friend Brian came to see me. Um, and that was very pleasant with a, a cup of tea and a yarn and solved all the world's problems. So that was a nice little break around about 12 o'clock or so. So I'm kind of happy today because I've had a chance to talk to somebody. And then yesterday Donald arrived in on his bicycle. He was out getting a bit of exercise and he, ate, he had a cup of tea and and biscuits, <laughs> chocolate biscuits. So we have to go out and cycle a few extra miles now. 
I doubt it, I think that's, that's, that's near for one of the other. So, six more beans. And once again, highly technical. Disaster. <laughs> I've lost me bean. Oh, no. oh, there we are. There he is. See how honest this production studio is that we put in all our mistakes. Right. And then we get rid of this and we go to the 50% compost and 25% each of the others. You notice me tipping the tray there. <laughs> what happens is there's holes in the bottom of those little pots and then the vermiculite and perlite fall out through the bottom. So. I don't want to be taken to the trading standards or some sort of scientific research police department for doing inaccurate experiments by leaving two grains of vermiculite and one of perlite in the tray that we're sitting in. So, here we go now. That's us near done now. Shireen's allotment, um, as far as I can determine, Shireen is working in a, a city environment and she has the allotment seems to be across the road from her home. So she's developing that slowly and using lots of containers. I think her biggest problem so far has been squirrels, but she's a determined lady and she is working very hard, so she hasn't put up a, a video recently, so I don't know what where she's at now in terms of growth, but it's very interesting. I love to see people starting off new allotments and stuff, just to see how they develop. I think we all love that, because uh, we all know what we've gone through ourselves. So, there we are folks, that's, that's it, and I've got my little labels and everything. There's me, 50-50, and then this one was a third of each, and this one was 25% compost. That's it, um, take me, me, me girly glove off, and turn the camera off. I'm going to do another video straight after this one about those beans that I had in the vermiculite and a little experiment, not experiment, a little revelation, revelation, revelation. So anyway, that's it. We'll see how those come on. I'll water those in a couple of minutes and then come back to you. All the best now. Bye bye.